Hello guys, this is Kunjan Shah. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk. Today I will explain you registration form using React Native. So let's do the practical. So for registration page, let's add one text. Then uh, text input and uh, let's take a button and style it also okay if anything remain we will add later here first what we will do we will add one text it says like something uh, this creation form now we will add input text input and here 10 text input plus holder for example enter name and uh, here there is one event called on change text okay this is the lambda function okay then we will do we will add one style actually because uh, if we see the emulator output it's like this enter name but what we will do we will make a border of this text input so for that we will add one constant uh, for example sty any styles equal to style c dot create okay in that we will add object called text styles okay here we will define the properties for example border color let's say sky blue comma border width let's say 2 comma padding let's say 5 margin margin <coughs> horizontal let's say 10 margin vertical let's say 10 okay this is the style we have defined let's assign the style here here style equal to styles dot text style okay, here we can see so now we will add this okay name then edge address and uh, name address for example password and let's put one button also button 
its title is going to submit and here on press going to this error function so here what we will do we will alert we will do a alert and uh, let's check see but here submit button looks like a uh, weird so i uh, here one point uh, to remember is we cannot set a style in the button for that we need to grab this button in the view like this <coughs> sorry stylish button style let's color to red comma padding left Thirty comma margin horizontal thirty and margin vertical. Let's ten. Okay, and button style will let's button style here button style equal to style dot button style should be oh sorry we should not take here you need to put here that's why we add view tab okay now what we will do here is a password actually actually password should not be visible so to hide the password there is one one option called secure where is password here so secure text entry true Okay. Now we want to uh, display the value of the text field, name, age, address. When we when I entered all these things and uh, when I click on the submit button, it should display the values of this field. So for that I need to take a state variable. So for state variable, suppose I need to add a constructor. Here in constructor, I need to write super method. And uh, this dot state equal to name. password comma address comma age okay constructor here Constructor. 
okay now we will assign here e this is name name equal to e now here edge edge colon e colon here uh, e address colon e actually actually it should like this this dot set state like this address and this is a password like this and here set state now alert should be like uh, this dot state dot name plus plus this dot state dot edge edge then address and then password okay and then thirty money number one two three four five and then thirty money number one two three four five okay. Here there is one point also. Suppose we click on first uh, text input, and this is the enter button. The keyboard is closed. But if we we want to do like uh, if we click on this, and here it should it should be next button. If I click on the next, the cursor will uh, go to the next next text field. Then next text text field. So for that. Uh, what we need to do there is one properties also called return key type equal to next okay let's check Yeah, now it's working. Actually, what happened? You need to add this property with this property also. When submit editing, here second text input dot focus, and in the second text input, second text input equal to input. So after that, you can see. First, ten second. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you.